How would you like to start, John? Yeah. Did you have anything special? Well, I just... <clears throat> we could start with um, the things you've uh, prepared, or we could review. Okay. Uh, do you want to do this first or the review? Sure. We'll do this first. Okay. I'll show the camera. Let me get to your, your very first page. Okay, so everybody, John has been working on the language. The door is locked, I think. Oh, the door is locked. Ah. Oh. I didn't realize it was locked. <laughs> okay, so everybody, John has been writing down phrases. The word is skadakshalikshaw. Skadakshalikshaw. Sure. Okay. Something can um, And that's your translation for the door is locked. Yes. Skadakshalikshaw. You can start with winter. One after the other. Okay. Let me find it. Oh, way over here. Yes. Okay. Yes, Tim. Are you going to write down that what he just said? The door is locked? Uh, not at this moment because we're starting. I'm going to show you some things that John would like to start with. Okay. And John has prepared some writings. I'm looking for your, your seasons. Okay, good. We have, your, we have the winter. Okay, so for... Um, so sure about this camera. If you can see on this camera, like that, okay. John has been writing in his notebook this weekend, and uh, he did break down a lot of our phrases. But he My asked that I start by showing you guys uh, his writings for winter for the season. So here's winter. Gongshu. So just so you can see what it looks like. He writes bigger because for his own convenience, so he can see. You don't want to look at any time you Winter. Winter. Okay, so one more time for Mathahatna. Bonch. Okay. John, do you want to talk about winter or do should I go to the next season? Yeah. Yeah, sir. Just tell them what it is and how to pronounce it. Okay. Yes. And now here's spring goyam. 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 So goyam. 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 So you can see John writes phonetically. He writes it. He took it away from this thing he goyam. Goyam. I think it's goyam. One of my other elders, Richard Johnson, goyam. also said that. Uh, to let people write the language uh, the way it sounds to them because everybody hears differently. And our language was not meant to be written anyway. So don't worry about spelling or writing systems. Yeah. So this is the, uh, the way it sounds different. And I love what Donna May said. She said she don't care how you spell as long as you can speak. <laughs> the world is losing speakers, not spellers. Yeah. Terry. <laughs> Terry. Terry. Go. When you said that um, a couple of weeks ago, uh, one individual was asking about Umshua, and Go. another another person came, and because um, you know I would spell it U M. Anyways, another person came, whose mother's a pretty fluent speaker, and she said it was with the K, Umshua. So, again, well, and I think... And, and both, are, both are right. Quite a few families um, say umshiwa for um, somebody, for, for a white man. But um, some people, depending on which uh, village their ancestors came from, will put the K. Sometimes that K in front means you're referring to a person who's not from here. Somebody that came from a long ways away. You, um, sometimes you put a K in front of the word. 
Okay. So it depends on which village their ancestors were from. So um, you are not wrong. We're all correct. Yeah, well, she was pretty defensive of, of that. And I just oh, said, yeah. well, you know, and there's, there's of many. Of course, everybody feels powerful about their, um, their grandparents' knowledge. Ugh. Right? As we shook sure. her all. Shook yeah. new? Is that how you say it? I think we should keep the door open. Ooh, come on in, Trinity. Our door keeps taking taken off. off. So season. next, we're going to continue with and the season. Uh, I want to keep us on track. So here is the summer, here is for summer, and this is what John wrote, shoot, 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 I'll come around to catch that class, shoot, 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 yeah, I'm going to dance with their group, shoot, shoot, summer time, shoot, okay, I'm, Okay, we passed summer, John. Now we're on to fall. Okay. Okay. For a minute and a half now, uh, here is fall. Shoot. 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 So as you um, take more Shemalgia classes, your ears are really going to become fine-tuned to these sounds. A lot of people never heard the K in front of it, and I'm so happy that John wrote it, because there is a K sound. Kshud, 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 Okay, John, now we are done with the fall. Okay. Would you like to talk about the seasons, or would you like to continue on? Yeah, there's not much to tell about them, you know. You're doing good. Okay, just stop me if something comes up, and okay. uh, I'll give you the floor. Now, this is what I'm excited about, is uh, John wrote out uh, Amazon flag, good morning, but he broke the word out into pieces. He's showing which parts of the word mean what. Yeah. So this is what is so awesome about having John for a teacher. I was saying, oh, Terry, Terry. Terry. Uh, the way you're holding it, move, move it over towards you a little bit. Towards, towards you. you. There you go, right there, right there. There you go. Amazon say, so he has am means good, must vary, <laughs> must early, and slay morning. As you're actually saying, um, good, very early morning. Good, early morning. Good, early morning. Good, early morning. So I was, Look at that. I was saying it wrong that one time. I'm a good flag. I was the platform. Oh, mm -hmm. well, now you can hear people say it. I'm a good flag. Yeah. Oh. Okay, well, I mentioned I'm the Simpson is kind of backwards compared to the ink of his writing. Oh, that's good. That's yeah. good. John wants me to make sure you guys know that when you talk in Shemalia, that the subject usually comes last, often does come last. So you'll just say, I'll, you'll, you'll describe the things you mean to talk about first, and then the last thing you'll tell somebody is the subject. So Spanish is like that. And sign language. Yeah, I'm going to say, I'm going to say it. You come around to get to you again. David. So, did you guys, did, did you guys all find the, these classes on, on YouTube? No. They're on YouTube. Go to YouTube and put in Alaska Libraries Archives. You did? It came up? Oh, you're awesome. Oh, you're smart. I'm a good friend. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So what do you think about that? How John split it, um, broke up the word into different meanings. What do you think? That's great. You um, each word. Oh, I'll learn? go. I'll make sure. So the first part, we all know am means good. Mm -hmm. And then he has ma for very and ga for early and slay for morning. Slay for morning. 
So if you knew, that's he's showing you, you're really saying good early morning. <laughs> So there's a lot of information packed into that one phrase. But my the next one. <coughs> okay. Lord, Lord. The king. There you go. Right there. Yeah, right there. Right there. <laughs> how, yeah. how are you? And Loan. And that is how. La is R. And Wan is you. Yeah. <laughs> And we know very many, uh, we know a lot of variations on how are you doing. See how we broke it into, he broke the whole phrase. How? Some people say, Some people say, so smart, no, it's John wrote it, not me. <laughs> no, I said you are smart. Yeah. No, it's John. John's smart too. <laughs> and then you'll be able to see it on camera. Okay, yeah. Next one. Okay, this one we remember. Uh, uh, I am sick. Cheap canoe. Cheap canoe. Cheap is am, like I am, and then new also. Oh, I just don't have that. New is like I. New is like I or me. When you talk about yourself, that's me. Cheap canoe. I am sick. Cheap canoe. Again? Yeah, can you show it again? Over, over. <clears throat> this way. The, the, there you go. Right there, right there. Okay. I am sick. So you also will be Please. able to review right. this when you go to YouTube and uh, watch the recordings. Okay. I am sick. Oh. Okay. Oh. Okay. Oh. 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 I am going to go. Trinity, I'm coming with paper and pencil. Here's a good one. I am well. I am well. Like getting better after you lose it. Some more for new. Some more for new. Some more for new. Some more for new. And so slap is now. It's the slap that goes to time right now. Morka is uh, when, and then uh, nu is me. Some more the new. I am well. Some I am well. My Terry is well. Is that correct, John? Yes. Some more the new. Some more the new. Some more the new. Some more the new. Some more to me. 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 Some more to me.
Eight. Harry. Four. So you to do the like everybody it'll be shali mod kanu or shali mod kanu. Everybody all together. Shali mod kanu. Well, we want to hear everyone talk. Okay. So so shla. 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 Mod. Mod. Kanu. Kanu. The mod kanu. The mod kanu. Oh, you put it down. How about Melly Cat? I want to hear you guys say Samot Canoe. 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 Oh. I'm looking for more. I know you have more writing, Sean. Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. Got it. Yeah. Thank you. It helps you with that. Your tongue, your tongue actually comes out to make sure. Yeah. Okay, I like this one. John, on this one, you have, you have Amloan. Yeah. And you also have O. Oh, here he has a list of things. You have O for yes, yeah. I-N for no, yeah. am for good, and M for very. Yeah. Okay. Um, David Nelson, David Nelson, I'm glad to see you there. Because uh, when you look at this, you'll see much. This way. Here you look. This way. Yeah. There you go. Okay. More. Right there. Right there. Good. Good. M. 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 Why, why am? David, David, so have you um, heard ma before to mean very? Ma, I have, M-A, very? I have, have, you, not, have you heard that? Have you heard, I, have I heard what? Ma. Ma. Ma, M-A for very. Because I heard Gertrude Johnson say the same thing. The paper is coming okay, up. Okay, so here we are. Um, so the very first one is... Um, is Amloan. 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 Yeah. Amloan. yeah. Amloan. Are you doing well? Then we have O for yes. O. 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 And then John wrote Ian for no. And then Am for good. And then Ma for very. Because we are all used to Lugua, aren't we? Uh-huh. So this is a, this is um a very important lesson to expand your mind and understand there are a zillion more answers than one that are correct. Yeah, so ma. This is so we have two varies now, Lugo and ma. Lugo and ma. Lugo and ma. Slow down here. Lugo and ma. Lugo and ma. Oh. James I'm like, oh. What? What? Not oh. 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 Oh.
So Tim is with um, Fraser. Um, I wonder, you mean not good? I wonder if somebody down on your yeah, side of the table could help you with that. Sucks. Trinity is asking, how do you say when you're not doing very well? Oh, yeah. yeah, James knows, ask it am. Good morning. Okay. Oh, okay. John, you're going to have to help me with this one. Uh, so it looks like you're writing, I am well, but you have other things up here. Yeah. I don't remember. I wrote that down, down about two weeks ago. Okay. It looks like, uh, it looks like Shaganu and, and, and uh, Jamsik. Oh, no, no, I am sick. Some more to can do. We did that one. I am well. Yeah. Is that another sheep to do? Oh, okay. That was before this batch. I guess that's I it. Think, I think that's it. Yeah. Okay. And then we're back to the um, seasons. All right. <clears throat> hey, Terry. Okay. Four. Hey, Terry. So yes. what What I've, I've known as ma is like, Almost like moo, like to be like something. So it's like a moo watsa. Ask him if that's like moo watsa. Oh. oh. Let me let me run that by John. Yeah, like um, like someone who can't hear or deaf. Yeah. Uh, no, moo watsa. It would be crazy, like a like a land otter, like very crazy. Oh oh. Yeah, moo watsa is like crazy. Okay. Land otter. <laughs> John. John. Your nephew in Mechlakatla, uh, David? Yeah. David Nelson? He's asking a question because on your papers you wrote ma means very. Ma, ma means very. Yeah. And so he's wondering, his question is, um, is ma... Um, like the word um, mu, as in muwatsa, muwatsa. I, I don't know that word. Okay, so he's talking about to be crazy like a land otter, muwatsa. Oh, oh. Kind of out of control. No, no more. It's just very. Yeah. Oh. Oh. What's her name? Uh, Flora, not Flora. Mather, what was her first name? Flora Mather? Flora Mather, yes. Oh. Uh, they asked her at a picnic one time just how to say good morning. And that's when she came out with this. And she said, uh, I'm a gun fag today. Good morning to you. And uh, she used the whole word there for Emma uh, as uh, good. But uh, to my knowledge of, uh, of Somalia that I recollect, uh, those are two words, Emma, M, M, and Ma are two words. It is, it's, M is good and Ma is very, oh. very good morning to you. <laughs> Joy exit noon. Oh, I am. They're thank. They said they thank you, John. Joy exit noon. Yeah. They're oh. happy for you. <laughs> yeah, thank. And that's what I mean, David. I really encourage everybody in Ketchikan and in Methacatla to uh, ask questions. Because when we ask questions, we can um, scratch a little deeper and um, pull these things out, which is really exciting. Yeah, it's nice when you could um, hear it and learn it from someone you know. Yeah, so thank you, David. Go action. Oh. Uh, I might not be able to answer all your questions, but I can try hard to answer some, okay? All right. I yelled to them. Um, oh, oh. Okay, so from um, John, where would you like to go from here? 
Yeah. What did you have on that? That's all I had written down. Okay, good. I have review. Okay, that's a good idea. It's, it's speaking review. A lot of this is review that's just on the explaining the words in, the, in each sentence. That's what I, I did there. Yeah. Yeah, and thank you. That was pretty exciting. Yeah. Yeah, that was uh, quite a lesson. Um, okay, so we're getting we're getting um, lessons at many different levels right now, and so uh, I think that we're lucky to have that. So let's just practice from the beginning. Um, I will say the English, and both both at the same time in Metlakatla and in Ketchikan. You guys say the Shemalga, so translate into Shemalga. How are you doing? <laughs> no one. When? Oh, <laughs> oh, yeah. I heard that. Now, does anybody remember the plural form for when you're asking a crowd, how are how are you people doing? Yeah. And the Welsh. And the Welsh. Yeah, to, for the plural form. the Welsh. Lugulam. All you had to do was add an SM on the end. Okay? Okay. Uh, good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Now that's so I want you guys to answer the question. So I did it. Yeah, mm -hmm. with a lot of flair. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to close the door now. I think everybody's here. It's funny, Tim, how Tim did it really quick, slow. Okay. Uh, let's see. I am doing fine. Am with a walu. Am with a walu. Am with a walu. Am with a walu. <laughs> Not good. Akadam. Akadam. Look like David. I am sick. Sheep canoe. Sheep canoe. Oh, yeah. Sheep canoe. Sheep canoe. Okay, so he's asking you to talk louder. Okay. I am well. Mark canoe. Um. Some more canoe. Um, some more canoe. Some more canoe. Some more canoe. Some more canoe. Okay. Now here, here's one that we um I I believe I only introduced once and we haven't been able to practice is what is your name? Now you win. Now you win. What is your name? Now you win. Oh. Some people say now you d wan, but both of them are fine. Now you wan. Now you wan. Now you wan. Okay, so. Now you wan. Tim's holding his name up. Carrie? Yeah? That was like, as I got deeper into, um, deeper into that, when, it, you know, when I was talking to Arnold, he was telling me that it doesn't just mean what is your name, but more like what is your history? Yeah, yeah, so. and that goes to the word, what does, um, in English, when we try to translate things to English, we paraphrase things down, yeah. um, so, so we try to simplify it so much that it loses its meaning, yeah, and that goes to the history of the word wow, um, but, <clears throat> so if we actually wanted to ask a person's name for real, we'd probably say wash, huh? Yeah, yeah, wash. Um, John? Holy. Um, me. <laughs> how would you say, um, what is your name? This is Wash. Claudia D. Wine. That's oh. another way of saying it. Go to D. Wine. 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 Oh, what is your name? Go to D. Wine. So now we have two ways. Go to go to do and then like Whenever a sentence starts with the word na, na is a question. Who is it? Um, Bolton, Alec Bolton. I'd go to the grocery store and um, he'd be bagging my groceries. 
And he'd just look at me and he'd go, nah, nah, nah. <laughs> and I knew it was a question. I'm like saying, what, what, what? <laughs> But he was using it just kind of in a general, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> so, but, oh, I think we could spend Ooh. a month just on how to ask questions. What is your name again? Say that again. Oh, go to uh, Diwan. Go to Diwan. Or now you win. Okay, now you thank win. you. I see the now you win, and then I saw the go do win. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. No, you win. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Any more? Um, interesting. Okay, let's talk about how to say your name. Say your name. If I was gonna say my name, yeah. oh, would you? Does somebody? Would, would you guys know how to say your name? James. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. How about Metlakatla? Um, how do you guys say your name in Metlakatla? Your name in Metlakatla. David. Mamun Tim Oh, and he said he said no You need to yeah. say it louder so instead of holy name. Okay, so I want um, us in here in Ketchikan to practice saying our names. So I would say um Terry Diwayu. Terry is my name. Um, D Y. And my mother would say uh, you. So thank you for catching that. So either way is just fine. You want to say that or D. It's a connector word. So both. Nayu an. Nayu an. Echo hot. D Y U. Echo hot. Oh, D Y U. Oh, three women is her name. Three girls, excuse me. Um, I can have a Yeah, and do are you? Oh, I am. <laughs> <laughs> okay, good job. I'm a Devon. Okay, so here we are to the part of talking about please. Oh. Mm. Oh. <laughs> it comes as we haven't been able to, haven't been able to come out with a word for that, but it's a sentence. It's just a way of you know, the way you sound. When you ask for something, they like to uh, please pass the salt and pepper. You do uh, moan, did pepper. Pepper. Moan. You do moan, did pepper. Mm -hmm. You don't say, uh, Jimmy, you know. You, you, as you say politely, that's as close as I can get to saying please. So this is the part when John said, it's the way you say it, um, the tone of your voice and your body language. And if you say something with kindness and grace, you don't have to use a word like please because you demonstrate it in your, um, your way of speaking and your voice tone. And a person could tell um, that they're using a lot of grace towards you. Yeah. So that's, uh, it's not something that's said, it's something that's done. It's something <laughs> expressed, and you express kindness and grace what in the way say? you say. Say it again, please. Well, he was using the example of, um, of asking for salt or pepper. Okay. <laughs> yeah, but um, so he never used the word please, but the way his voice tone was very kind and gracious, yes. and that's how he said please. Close your way. He, demonst yeah. he demonstrated it. Yeah, and you shot to pepper. <laughs> yeah, now, he just talked about salt and pepper, but um, um, he used a softer tone. Yeah, so he almost turned it into a question. Okay. Yeah, by using a softer tone. <clears throat> but we talked about other ways that people have tried to. We're talking about please again. Um, 
the other ways people have tried to give a translation for please, since we don't have the word please in Shemalia. And so one of them, one of the ways was kamgoden, kamgoden. Kamgoden. Yeah, kamgoden, with kindness, or with heart, with heart. Yeah, yeah, kamgoden. And then we've heard kamgoswan, kamgoswan, but John's translation of kamgoswan is telling a person, thank you what you have done. Thank you for what you have done. So that's not the same as please. Yeah, I guess what I wrote down last week was, Gary? Yes, Tim? Uh, I wrote down what he's, or what I thought I heard him say, bless what you do. Oh, uh, I'm sorry, can you say that again? For the come goth when, I wrote down, bless what you do. Oh, thank you for writing that down, because I missed that. Um, so John, before, when we talked about this the first time, he said, um, bless what you do. Yeah, bless what you do, is what Tim wrote. Does that sound familiar, John? No, it's that. We're still on that phrase, um, a translation for please. Yeah. And so Tim, he, when, he, when you were talking last, a few weeks ago, he wrote, um, bless what you do. Bless? Yeah. For a translation, a translation for please. Yeah, well, it's, it's in, right in there, but uh, it's given a blessing in that phrase, you know. You know, it's not anywhere, it's not uh, saying please, but he's telling that he's, he's giving his blessing for what he did. Oh, come go swan. Yeah. Yeah. To give some somebody else blessing for what they have done. Yeah. So that's that's pretty wonderful, isn't it? Now I like the bumper sticker more. <laughs> <laughs> That word please is a very complicated meaning when you come to Somalia. There may be just one or two, maybe even three ways of saying that. That's what my brother told me and Terry one time. I forgot what we were discussing, but we were working hard at something. And then my brother came in with that and told us that there was two or three ways of saying the same phrase. Do you remember that? I remember him. He, um, Your brother was really smart and had a wonderful memory, Wilbur. And um, if nobody else could remember something, we knew Wilbur would. It <laughs> might take him a day or two, but he would pull it from his, his memory. And uh, so we all depended heavily on Wilbur. <laughs> but yes, he understood how complex the concept was just because it's different cultures yeah okay well let's move on to thank you uh to say thank you in shemalia do you remember oh okay a little bit louder doyagan 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 and Metlakatla? Doi again. <laughs> Doi again. Tim is really enjoying himself. <laughs> okay, I'm trying to say again. it with expressive. Yes, look at you. So he really sees t now watching Tim. Hey, Tim, do that again. <laughs> Doi again. Look at that. You saw his whole spine went like this. Um, but he is expressing the way Shemalia is expressive. Yeah, so Tim really gets it. He is embodying, um, you You take up the whole, you embody the word or the feeling, and then you demonstrate it. Yeah, so, oh. and that's a really good way to speak. Yeah, so that's what he's up to. What does that mean? Thank you. Okay. Yes, and that's um, another way to pronounce it. So, and then for the plural, when we're going to, um, we want to thank a group. Doya Genshim. Doya Genshim. Doya Genshim. 
Okay, I want to move through our list here. Uh, <clears throat> so, so we went down to what are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> Go to Wu Wan. Thank you. Go to Wu Wan. Go to Wu Wan. Wu Wan. Go to Wu Wan. Okay, go to go to Wu Wan. Go to Go to Wu Wan. Go to Wu Wan. It's kind of hard on your list, isn't it? We're not used to doing that. Wu Wan. Go to Wu Wan. Wu Wan. Yeah, thank you. You guys sound really good. Okay, go to Wu Wan. And then um, I am working for an answer for what are you what are you doing? I am working. Hashal shenu. 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 Hashal so this is the 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 HL You don't troll for element. Awesome hound. Yeah, I do. <laughs> In English, you call it jigging for element. Yeah, and that, is that to get eat? Yeah, jink a line down. Okay, so I want to talk about um, this word because we came across it in a dictionary. It, there was a word that said, um, it said um tau, and the definition said um, tro um, fishing, halibut fishing. But um, um means to drag a hook through the water, and that's and that's uh, trolling. Mm -hmm. So you can um horn, you could um, troll for fish, mm -hmm. troll for salmon, um horn, mm -hmm. but you can't troll for halibut. Has any good fisher been knows that you jig for halibut? Jig. It's the motion of the hook. Is the hook here? Or is the hook doing this? We troll for hell of it when the waves, waves take us away. Oh, yeah. 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 Go like this. Oh, There's a mistake in that case. You can troll for hell of it. I know my friends did. <laughs> they troll for hell of it with a power girdish and a big boat, you know. The power troll there, line pulls out, and they drag the bottom of the of the, when they know the, how flat the uh, bottom is, they can oh. drag their gear through it. Oh, and, and so they the boat was moving and they were pulling hooks through the bottom? Yeah, a lure. 
Allure. Wow. Yeah. For halibut? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, um... But there is a different way of fishing for halibut, too. It's, uh, it's something called it Skidachyapons. 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 Oh. Okay, so I can't, uh, John can't, well, I can't, um, I want John to hear me, but there's too much noise. Okay. I heard you. Okay. I'm worried I'm not saying it right. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. I kind of get a kick out of the way she uses her mouth in pronouncing the words. <laughs> I don't see very many people do that. I don't know if I do it, but she really puts the emphasis in her mouth action. Tegida. Yeah. Oh, so man, this we're is missing a very that? unusual combination of letters or sounds. T-G-I. Tegida. 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 And then da. Tigida. Yeah, see that? So you could so um so you see it's kind of a trick. Tigida. <laughs> there's a there's a couple of letters in there that uh, that the Russell Hayward had put in his dictionary that uh, he puts like an apostrophe C K da. <laughs> you know, and uh, he said replaces, according to Russell Hayward, replaces the the X letter and the what uh, the letter sound. Oh, is it the X and the bar to L? Yeah. Tequila. Yeah. Tequila. K E Y. C the part to be C K. Okay. So for Metlakatla, I'm going to spell this phonetically. Phonetically. In Canada. No, I did not. You left. By the way, Simchan left. <laughs> yeah. Right there. Tigida, yeah. Which? Jigging for halibut. Or is it just jigging, John? What? Does it look like an eagle to you? No. What? Are you serious? Tegida? Yeah. S-H-K? Ravens has a straight beak. W-I-N-S-H-K. Tegida? Tegida? Yeah. Jigging. Jigging for halibut. Not to you. Okay, so. So, John, would you use the term um tau? Um tau? Yes, you can, because I know people do, you know. Yeah. One of my friends that uh, I used yeah. to be a power thrower, and that's what we did too, through a place called Seal. I forget that uh, water race on the uh, east side of the net. It's flat water, flat bottom there. Mm. Okay, so let's go ahead and move on to I am cooking. Goo goo. Goo goo. Or dim goo goo. Dim goo goo. Goo goo. Yeah. I'm cooking. Cooking. Goo goo. Goo goo. Dim goo goo. Goo goo. Goo goo. Would you say dim goo goo or goo goo? Goo goo. Right. Guganu. 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 I am cooking. Okay. Now, how many different ways are we? I am cooking is different. I am. Dim Guganu. I am cooking. Dim Guganu. 
am governor. I am cooking. Okay, so okay, Kylie, um, I'm going to talk to Matt Lakatla, so for them to hear me, we'll have to be quiet and here for a second. So did you guys catch that in Matt Lakatla? I am cooking. Dim Guganu. Dim Guganu. Dim Guganu. Oh, I am. Dim Guganu. I am cooking. Okay. <clears throat> and then this is new. Here is a new sentence. And it's to ask about the weather. What is the weather doing? I'm about to. Um, John, would you say, Gosh Noel Laha? Gosh Noel Laha. I would say that, yes. Would you say, Gosh Laha? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Gosh Noel Laha. Gosh Noel Laha. Oh, Lugulam, you guys sound really good. You're asking, what's the weather like? Yeah, we want to ask that question. Gosh Noel Laha. It's very good if you can remember it. Let's ask you about the weather. Yeah. How is the weather like outside? Okay. So now for so now for Matt Um we're 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 introducing a, a new phrase, a new question, and this is how is the weather? What is the weather doing? Gosh lawal laha. Gosh lawal laha. Gosh lawal laha. Lawal laha. Lulam, gosh lawal laha. Gosh lawal laha. Oh, I am. Okay, now we could get to the part of answering. <laughs> So last week you did hear rain. Somebody mm -hmm. asked for rain. Welsh and grass. Oh. Yeah. You said it. So um, let's hear. Okay. So for rain. Wash. Wash. Now now rain means wash. But if you want to say falling rain yeah. or the rain is falling, you yeah, say wash. yeah wash. Yeah, yeah wash. Yeah wash. Ooh, yeah. Google that. Yeah, wash. The rain is falling. Yeah, wash. Otherwise, just wash is just rain. Um, John. It's me. What's the wash? Yeah, I'm getting some of them. Oh, yeah. oh. Can you go? I can need you wash Hi. at a bash. I don't see rain or wind. Um, yeah. Oh, okay. So John's gonna lay. This is one of my favorite John terms. It's um, he used to say high overcast when the whole sky is covered in clouds. Goboka, goboka, laha, goboka, laha, goboka, laha. Oh. Okay. For Matt Lakala, goboka, laha. Yeah, and that's a high overcast. The complete sky is covered in clouds. Gobo galaha. Gobo galaha. Google them. Okay, I'll come around. Okay. Gobo ga. 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 And for Matlaka, Gobo Galaha. 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 Trinity is asking, how do you say good afternoon? I would say, I'm a Gaudi Shugya. John, how would you say good afternoon? I'm a Shugya. I'm a Shugya. Oh, I'm a Shugya. Oh, so we. Uh, Trinity asked, how do you say good afternoon? And 
uh, we have two ways, Ama Gaudi Shulgya and Ama Shulgya. Okay, we're get, we have a five minute warning now. So, go, go. Don't, uh, don't forget the two words in it, Ama. Good. Good and very. Very good. So this is a big lesson. I think this is kind of a quiet lesson tonight. Um, I do so much talking, so I haven't paid attention much. But you're learning a lot more about am and ama. That John is letting you know that am by itself is good. But when you have the when you have the m a at the end for ama, you're saying very good. So, so yeah, don't forget that uh, Somalia came backwards when you compare it to English. No, it's, it's, it's forwards, and English is backwards. Uh, <laughs> what did you say? Uh, Back. Tim Booth was saying that no, Shemalgia is forward and English is backwards. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Okay, that's all right. I'm fine. <laughs> John. <laughs> <laughs> so, thumbs he's up. giving you the thumbs up. Yeah. Okay, John, is there um, anything that you would like to um, talk about? Yeah, I did think of something, but I forgot. Mm -hmm. If anything I can do good is forgetting. Yeah. <laughs> I'm quite forgetful. Is John? Forget. I told uh, I told Terry a while back that uh, you better get it while the getting is good. I told her, and and so she's been working hard with me, and and she's doing very well. Where we we both shake the rust off each other. <laughs> <laughs> that if we go time without speaking, then we get. I get bum and he forgets, and then, <laughs> then when we get back together, um, I get practice and uh, he remembers a lot. <laughs> um, does anybody have any questions? Does Tim have yeah. any questions? Oh. Yeah. He wanted to have I, you uh, at the end of something, at the end, O O N, you. Okay, if you wanted to add an N, you. A U. Oh, this is a lesson that John is just itching to teach you guys. Uh -oh. Okay, John. Uh oh. Um, James Lenos Jr. over here. He has a question about how you change. How do you change the end of a word to talk about yourself or the other guy? And he's asking about ends and the letter U. The what? The letter N at the end of the word and the letter U. Yeah. Yeah, and what did that end for? I forget. Oh, the other person, the person you're talking to. Noon. Yes, noon. Yeah, noon is uh, is uh, the word that you add to the end of the statement when you're talking to a particular person. Noon. And you, knew you. Knew you. You. Me, are you? Which one is it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I forgot the things I told Terry about how to change the the wordings and uh, of, uh, like you and um. Well, let's take a simple word like the word mother. My mother know you. My. The word for mother is no, or no, but uh, when I want to say my mom, no you. The word ends with a you. And my, if I want to talk about your mom, I'm going to say no in, your mother, no in, your mom. No in, uh, if no say that we all have the same mom, we're going to say no in, our mother. Our mother. Yeah. If we're going to talk about somebody else's mom, that one is a shim, S-H-M. Yeah, no shim. Yeah, their no. their mother. Your mother. No one. Your mother. Okay, so William? now we're talking again about how to end a word.